Ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to be here. Uh, Matt mentioned I uh, work in radio, right? It's my first full-time job. And I love it because they give you money, right? It's incredible and you get, you get to buy things, right? I, I've never had that before. And it's got to the point where I've started buying stuff just because I've never bought it before. Do you know what I mean? Like I was in the supermarket the other day in the deli section and I looked down and I'm like, oh, prosciutto. <laughs> I thought to myself, I've never bought prosciutto before. I might buy me some prosciutto. <laughs> said to the lady behind the counter, excuse me, just some prosciutto, please. She said, how much do you want? Now, I didn't want her to know that I've never bought prosciutto before. So I just held her eye contact and went, I don't know, a kilo? <laughs> okay, that joke's divided the audience. Because um, <laughs> there's a lot of people here in sensible shirts and suit jackets going, <laughs> That's way too much cured meat. <laughs> but there's also quite a few students who are like, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Facts came out about my favorite food, ladies and gentlemen. A leading scientist claimed recently that if you eat a bacon sandwich, it will take half an hour off the end of your life. <laughs> yeah, a few of you are doing the maths. You're like, shit, how long have I got, right? <laughs> Apparently, if you ate a bacon sandwich, it would take half an hour off the end of your life. Now, that was meant to put me off, but I heard that, and I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Bacon is delicious, and it's half an hour off the end of your life. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> it's like, oh, one less half hour of me shitting myself and watching my friends die around me. I want to have two bacon sandwiches, thanks, bro. <laughs> Let's speed that part of the process up. I told my brother that fact, I said, hey, Scotty, apparently if you eat a bacon sandwich, it will take half an hour off the end of your life. He stopped, thought about it for a second, and he goes, oh, sweet, I'll just take 45 minutes to eat it. <laughs> I, said, I, I said, what? what? And he goes, well, I'll just take 45 minutes to eat it, and that way I'm 15 minutes in credit. <laughs> And for a split second, I was like, he's a fucking genius. <laughs> Just turn 30, ladies and gentlemen. When you turn 30, you've got to start drinking smarter. Right? You've got to start drinking smarter. Hangovers hurt more. Vodka hydrolyte is a good one. Okay, it's good. You're quite an adventurous crowd. Because uh, a couple of you chuckled, but most of you just went, fuck, that's not bad, actually. That's a lot better than when we tried bourbon and Barocca, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, heaps better than Kahlua and Up and Go. You're correct. <laughs> Started doing things I've never done before as well. I went on a winery tour, ladies and gentlemen. Winery tour. I've never been on a winery tour, and I found out it's heaps different to a pub crawl, right? <laughs> It is, here's the main difference between a winery tour and a pub crawl. And that is, if you shit yourself on a winery tour, you almost definitely have to go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? That happens on a pub crawl, we make you the captain. <laughs> when it's his first winery, right, there was a guy describing the wine. He goes, as you can see, this one has a very rich tannins. And as, as you can tell, the year this grape was harvested, there was quite a lot of moisture to the ground, the resulting fur is, ah. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, sir, in the second row. <laughs> Poor boy's just like, oh, bloody hell. I should be careful. The kids, I did a show the other night, there was a 10 and 11 year old in the crowd. It's great for them to get to primary school the next day. Luke, how was your night last night? Pretty good, miss. Boom! <laughs> I tasted the first one, I obviously wasn't a fan, right? I tasted it and I went, ah! And the guy said to me, he goes, oh yes, <laughs> that one might be good for the seller. <laughs> I said, oh sorry man, um, you're getting confused because I don't actually live in medieval England. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I live in a, a two bedroom share house. Uh, we have a seller, but his name's Dave. He drives a lowered Commodore. <laughs> don't know if he's the best bloke to look after our wine. That joke's divided the audience again. 
feel like now the prosciutto people are like, I'm confused. <laughs> but the students are back in the game. <laughs> like, I bet he's got green mitzies. Woo! <laughs> the one person that clapped at that is definitely selling drugs. <laughs> oh, shit. I was, I, was, I was at this winery right and I was hammered. Ladies and gentlemen, I was hammered. Because I was drinking wine like it was beer, and so I was hammered. I went and sat on the veranda, right? And uh, there was this bunch of people at the edge of the vineyard, like, but not going down into the vineyard, right? At the edge, not going down. They were trying to read this sign. And I decided this was my chance to intervene, right? And I went, excuse me, hello, go down, frolic. And they said to me, they said, oh, sorry, do you work here? And for some reason, I said, I'm the owner's son. <laughs> and so they ran down in the vineyard, started playing, right, having a ball, taking photos of each other. I'm like patting myself on the back, like, whoa. Ah. About 30 seconds later, not one member of staff from the winery, but all the members of staff from the winery, came running out to the edge of the veranda. And one yelled down into the vineyard and went, Oi, there's fucking tiger snakes down there. <laughs> And I thought this was my chance to intervene again, right? And I went, excuse me. I tried to tell them. <laughs> and they said, can you believe this? They're standing on our grapes. That is our livelihood. That's our whole year. And I said, you're telling me. Daddy has got to be very pissed off. <laughs> and I got up and left because I was in danger of becoming the captain of that tour pretty quick. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Tommy Little. You've been lovely. Take care. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>